Hi everybody, welcome to the Baguette Investor Channel for a new video. As the war in Ukraine started this morning, as the news say, uh, I think it's time to make an emergency update to see how the markets are reacting to this news and to see that times are changing and what is actually changing. We are coming to from a cycle to another and I'm going to describe to you how I see the cycles turning. The first thing we're going to watch is the Russian ruble, which is the currency of Russia. And we compare this to the US dollar. So this pair is with one US dollar, how much Russian ruble can you get? So you can see that the Russian ruble is not a good currency. It's been constantly devaluating uh, compared to the US dollar. First, after the fall of the Soviet Union during the 90s, you could see a massive devaluation right there. Uh, and the second big devaluation was uh, during the first Ukraine war in 2014. And right now there is a big risk of devaluation on the Russia rubble with money leaving Russia after uh, the sanctions that will be brought by the different governments. And simply the fear of bad things happening to uh, the currency. So what you need to watch is this uh exchange rate is telling you if people are selling their rubles for dollars and if people are getting out and you can see that there people are reacting very strongly after this big consultation where people were wondering what they would do they are now uh selling their russian rubble and uh we are making a seven years breakout just like when there was the same pattern after the, during the first ukraine war and now you really need to pay attention. This is up to you if you want to trade this or not. Of course, this can be a very good trade. But to me, there is a very problematic thoughts about making money with a war right now. Because you're really shorting the currency of Russia, the currency that people use. Uh, you're going to tell me you're not really important. And, and the, 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 the size of the market is so big that one person does not make any difference. But... It's about how you, how good you are with, uh, with this kind of things. Uh, you can you. I don't know if you've seen, but the uh, I believe it's the Mo IMOX, yeah, Moscow, Russia. You can see the the Russian stock market is absolutely getting destroyed right now. Uh, it's the biggest move it has ever seen seen since the the start of the index. It's absolutely crazy. Even during two thousand and eight, we had not seen one week like this. Uh, this is absolutely crazy so it really shows you that anything can happen and on the reaction to this you have uh, assets that are used to protect from uh, risks like inflation risk but geopolitical risk so gold as i mentioned last week or two weeks ago i believe is uh, confirming the signal we had we had the first signal that was the exit of the consolidation which was um, giving us a potential uh, run up and now we have what we call uh, a catalyst a catalyst is one of the best thing you can get in the market is uh, a news or an event that brings uh, more strength to your breakout for example uh, back in November 2020 we had a breakout of the consolidation phase you have this consolidation phase right there and there you had a breakout with the vaccine announcement giving even more strength and more faith in the following run-up to investors and now you're seeing that the, the this war this these bad events really give uh, strong energy to the breakout and people are really fomoing into gold right now this is not only uh, going to gold this is all the precious metal sector so I really encourage you to take at, take a look at every different precious metal because we are going to see in the next month I believe uh, a new uh, precious metal trend this is really something you need to watch and of course uh, it is still possible to enter on gold the best place to enter was at the shrinking volatility over there I entered a little bit there but I will keep accumulating gold as we get more and more um, uh, as the breakout is more reliable and right now you can see that we are finally breaking if I put it to close only we are breaking above this very important level and yeah you can't get any better than this on a pattern to me this is one of the best patterns and gold is a go-to 
when when times are are difficult uh oil prices are finally reaching the hundred dollar mark like we like we we used to wonder if it if it will would go there uh of course people fear uh that there are going to be oil shortages there are also gas prices moving quite a lot gas prices uh and the last thing i wanted to show well not the last thing but in terms of commodity the last thing we're going to look at wheat futures uh wheat futures on in chicago they went pretty crazy why because ukraine is a massive wheat exporter it produces a lot of wheat and people fear that there are going to be wheat shortages and again when you see gold going up you need to think i look at other precious metals when you see wheat going up like this you need to look at other agricultural commodities so you go into the ETF, for example, DBA, that is one very famous agricultural commodities ETF, and you check all the components of this ETF. And in this ETF, you will find soy. Soy prices are also soybean, soy or soybeans, the same thing, are actually going crazy right now. The trend for soy has been settled for quite a while, but it's all going crazy. Uh, corn prices are also going absolutely crazy right now. Look at this candle right there. It's everything you are looking at if you see one very strong move in one particular sector you need to be to get the, the reflex of checking other uh, parts of the same sector as a trader personally I own um, uh, corn so this is a corn ETF I bought it around there back in the days and I doubled my position this morning unfortunately I got executed way too high because the German stock exchange uh, opened five minutes later than the Italian stock exchange so I was not looking at the right chart anyway it just it gives me a very good price with a very good stop loss right there and uh, yeah I'm gonna ride try to ride this corn and bull market uh, I own AIGA which is a com uh, agricultural commodity ETF which it's really a basket of different kind of agricultural commodities and it helps tr if you don't know which commodity you want to buy and you would just want to get exposure to the agricultural commodity you just buy this and I like the chart so I bought it and right now it's moving like I thought it would move just gonna watch yeah the volumes are not really significant on this it's listed in London it's called wisdom tree commodity wisdom tree agriculture if you want to check that out I own other stocks that are very small position, but I'm really thinking getting out of these because I think during the open it's going to go down very hard. And I still own this stock that is behaving pretty good. But I'm really looking at other stuff like the soy oil, soybean oil that is used in in the in, in many industries and in food. Uh, the chart it looks absolutely amazing. You can see that we are breaking out after this beautiful consolidation period. You had a first entry possible after the breakout of this consolidation right there like this on this candle. But yeah, the, the big strength and remember this this thing with the catalyst that is happening is really important. And uh, other thing that people are talking about is aluminum. Uh, I heard that Russia is a big player in aluminum and so uh, People f uh, are afraid of aluminum becoming uh, scarce and that there there will be aluminum shortages. Again, you see aluminum moving like that. What do you think? You go and check other industrial metals. Aluminum, tin, copper, uh, in, uh, and, and many others that you will find. Uh, I believe there is a industrial metal ETF. Uh, metals... I can't recall the name. Maybe it's maybe I have it around there. Uh, commodities as a DBP. No, it's precious. I got precious metals, energy. Ba uh, well, that's what it's called. Base metals. This is uh, Invesco DB base metals, and you can see that we are uh, maybe gonna break to an all-time high at the open. And I really believe that we're gonna break. I was speaking about precious metals ETF, and you can see that we are doing exactly what I'm saying to you. We are breaking this right there, and I think. The breakout is going to be very, very, very important for the next month and year. That's it. Uh, times. Oh no, I wanted to talk about the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq is finally entering in a very strong corrective phase. This is these are the futures, the Nasdaq 100 futures. You can see it's really dropping hard, and 
yeah, there's no reason for it to bounce and to enter a new bull market as long as we're in a very, very bad situation for stocks, for the world economy. The places to make money right now are commodities, are inflation related assets and commodities, gold, especially. That's it. That's my analysis of the situation, of what's happening. Uh, if you have any questions and if you have other opinions, please express them in the comments and in argument. I'm not I'm not telling you that I'm 100% sure of what I do. I just explain what I do and how I view the situation. And I'd really be happy to uh, hear about what you're trading and what you're doing to hedge yourself and to, to at least try to keep your money and your purchasing power in this inflation environment. So thank you so much for watching until the end. See you in the next video. Have a nice week. And if you, anybody's watching me from Ukraine, well, I'm sending you my prayers and hope you're going to be good. Thank you for watching.